gone through our products template and categories template, we are ready to set up our checkout, checkout PayPal, and order confirmation pages. First, we're here on the checkout page. Now, because we started with a template, our checkout form was already available on the site. But if you're not starting from a template or you need to add in the form, simply come on over to the add elements button, the little plus sign, and go ahead and drag in the checkout form. Now, you could also add in additional information if needed. For example, if you needed additional customer information, you would pull that in here and drop that below. So here you would just put in the additional information that you needed and come on over to the additional settings here if you needed some different things. For instance, if you needed this to be a first name, you could then go ahead and make that adjustment. And don't forget to change the text area, enter first name. And we'll change that to plain. So you could go ahead and do that if you needed that section. Now, the other thing you can also add in if you need to is discounts. Again, you would just drag this in and drop it in where it's applicable. So for us, that would probably be down under our uh, payment info. So we'll go ahead and put that there. If there's a discount code, this will let the customer apply that. So make those adjustments as needed. Now, the remainder of the form, you need to be filling out as applicable. Again, this is this has a PayPal button. If you're not accepting PayPal, you can go ahead and delete that. So you would just do that by hitting delete. If you'd like to make adjustments to the styling, you can see that over here under PayPal settings where you can adjust the, the color back to the standard gold. You can make it blue, silver, whatever you would like. Again, the shape and also if you want it vertical or horizontal and what kind of label you would like it to have. You can also do the same for the web payment, although this is much more limited styling, but go ahead and make the adjustments as you would like. From there, everything else on here is set up uh, pretty much standard that you will need. Now again, you probably don't need shipping address or shipping method if you are only selling digital products. So to adjust that, make sure you come back up to the top level of checkout form and just make sure you put no shipping if none of your items require shipping. If you have a mixed store, you'll wanna be sure that you do have shipping enabled. Be sure that you're also checking your error state so that you're properly informing your customers according to what your store is selling. Once you've gone through everything here, make sure that you're adjusting your content appropriately and putting the correct navigation and footers on. After you've set up the main checkout page, you'd wanna do the same thing on the PayPal checkout page if it's applicable, if you're accepting PayPal. After you have your checkout pages done, you are ready to move on to your order confirmation page. Here, aside from our styling, copy and our navigation and footer, we need to take a, the, take a look at the main order confirmation container. As we did with the order pages, you can go ahead and add in this container if you don't already have it, and also add in the different boxes by hitting the plus sign. You'll also wanna pay attention to this downloads box, which you can add in if you have digital downloads. You can just drag that straight in and drop it where it's applicable. So you can see I already placed one in here. So let's take a look at that. The downloads block is only visible if an order item contains a download. So no need to worry about confusing customers if they aren't ordering a digital download. You can ensure that your downloads are set correctly by coming over to the downloads and the download button. We wanna be sure that this is set to get the URL from the file downloads. Make any styling adjustments you would like and now you are all set up. We have all of our pages ready to go. The last step will be setting up our emails and we'll do that next.